Hi, welcome back students. Um, in earlier videos, we had discussed the introduction of restaurant and classification of restaurant. Uh, how they can be classified. In today's lecture, we are going to see uh, the setup of restaurant and their layout. So, how we are going to do the setup and what is the layout of restaurant. So, before we go to understand what is the setup of different restaurants and layout of the different restaurant, we need to understand what is the literal meaning of setup and layout. When we talk about the layout, layout is the uh, arrangement of the area, the bird's eye view which you can see uh, where we will place the tables, where we will keep our side station, where we are going to place the hostess desk, whether there is a requirement of hostess desk or not. Uh, whether there is a requirement of uh, wine cellar or not in some restaurants it requires wine cellars some restaurant no need of the um, uh, wine cellar in some restaurant there is dispense bar in some restaurant there is no dispense bar so this is the layout how things will be arranged in the area and setup deals with the uh, table wares so how we are going to place on the table so in casual restaurant what equipments we will keep like fork knife spoon in fine dining restaurant but we will keep maybe wine glass champagne glass or uh, some other type of um, uh, equipments and um, uh, tablecloth all these things and um, so these are two uh, different uh, terms which is going to be discussed in this lecture setup and layout of the restaurant uh, so let's discuss a uh, well organized restaurant impresses guests on their arrival and it is the ease of for the waiters ease of working so um, if restaurant is well organized of course it will be impressive for the guest and it will be good for the uh, waiting staff so he doesn't have to run for uh, small small things here and there um, so everything is uh, placed nicely he knows where the things are kept and uh, uh, there is a free flow operation in the restaurant the restaurant setup include misa sa second point you can see restaurant setup includes misa sa and misa plan activity these two french terms are very important misa sa and misa plan uh, the first misa sa meaning is the making a scene creating an environment so broader things which when you enter the restaurant what you will see the broader thing you are not going to see the table uh, setup first of all first of all you will see the ambience what all things you see the curtains the walls and the lighting and the music you hear and the ac temperature all these things comes under this category misa sa the first category the second category goes to the uh, misa plan keeping everything in place for example for our operation the glasses are wiped polished cutleries are wiped all the condiments are available all the cutleries are available in the side station setup is proper so all these things are a misa plan activities uh, we will discuss in in further coming slides these activity vary according to type of restaurant and style of service so uh, there are so many different categories of restaurants as i uh, earlier discussed so there might be steak restaurant there might be carvery there might be seafood restaurant there might be uh, Chinese restaurant so we cannot go and discuss each and every setup and layout of the restaurant but what we can do we can keep them in three different separate categories entirely 100% separate for example we can keep one category of fine dining restaurant so those restaurant whose clientele is uh, affluent people rich people those who are going for the dinner for experience we can keep one category of them we can keep one category of the casual restaurant for example our coffee shop people going over there just to eat the food and that's it they don't go, go for uh, uh, experience for two three hours of uh, dining out all these things so we can keep one category of this and we will see what equipments they use and then we will see one another category that is bar so bar is another hundred percent separate category the clientele is different uh, so the first category we have is the fine dining setup uh, So we discuss about setup first then we will see the layout how the layout is done 
um, so ensure Misa Sa is as per standard. Misa Sa, as I told you earlier, is the broader thing. What you see once you enter the restaurant, windows are clean, curtains are open, AC is running, lights are on, music is on, floor furniture and fixture is clean, all equipment working properly. So all these things you are not going to do yourself personally these things you need to make sure that it is done so if the windows are not clean you are going to inform your supervisor or you are going to inform the housekeeping department to do it if curtains are not open you will open as per standard uh, there might be different standard for example in morning this will be half open in the afternoon it will be closed and in the evening it will be wide open so uh, everything has a, its standard in the restaurant AC is running so AC should be on the uh, optimum temperature whatever is the standard as per the weather conditions lights are on so light also have different um, uh, standard for different timing for example in morning it is bright and in the afternoon it is uh, uh, it is dim little bit and in the evening it is uh, totally dim so there might be different standard for the lights music you might have a different music standard music for your restaurant so uh, there is a different music for the bar different track and different music for uh, specialty restaurant uh, and uh, so on so you need to make sure that it is the right channel running in your restaurant and it is on the right volume so it is not too uh, loud so uh, uncomfortable for the guest and not too low that uh, you can hear the talking of the guest so th there should be a background music on the perfect uh, volume floor furniture and fixture is clean of course get it clean all equipment are working properly you will check the equipments are working properly for example your point of sale system for example your credit card machine or your coffee machine or all other equipments which you are going to use because it is going to create a big problem during the operation number two make sure tables are aligned as per standard so tables should be aligned as per standard so there there is some standard and table numbers in the restaurant always uh, they so sometimes maybe in a night when we had 12 packs or 20 packs we had joined two table or three tables together we moved them from their place so they need to go back again uh, to its standard place ensure all tables are clean and not wobbling table should be clean and it should not be shaking Ensure chairs are clean and maintained so there should not be any damage or stain on the chairs. Cover all the tables with clean iron tablecloths. So for fine dining restaurant we have to make sure that it has a tablecloth. Not 100% um, as standard that a fine dining restaurant must have a tablecloth but most of the fine dining restaurant uses tablecloth. Uh, place the center piece ABC Ashtray Budweiser Squid Set in the center. Place BNB plate on the left hand side of the cover, usually on the left hand side, I mean uh, right next to the fork. Sometime it may be a little bit above the fork, but it will be on the left hand side. BNB plate is uh, by the way bread and butter plate, which we had discussed 6 inches diameter. Uh, number 8. Place clean wiped cutlery on the cover with the help of salver or waiter cloth. So whenever you are placing the cutlery, it should be carried in a salver or it should be carried in a waiter cloth. Uh, that's a standard. Place clean wiped glasses on the right side of the cover on the tip of the large knife. So the glass is placed usually on the uh, tip of the large knife. Place nicely folded napkin in the center of the cover. So napkin will go in the center of the cover or on the BNB plate. Any display item if necessary should be placed appropriately. So there might be different display items that should be. Uh, if there is a flower it should be fresh. If it is any other arrangement it should be good presentable smelling nice all these things. Stock up the side station with necessary items such as equipments, menus, water condiments etc. So the side station we need to make ready because it is the backbone during the operations. So here we can see the um, general cover setup. Uh, the BNB is on the left hand side, and that's the BNB knife, 
and uh, then we have on the left hand side is the uh, forks and knife spoon soup spoon on the right hand side and the glass on the tip of the large knife and the dessert cutlery on top so it is the general setup here uh, Indian accent New Delhi it's a fine dining restaurant we can see that the tablecloth is placed and um, a cover is nicely set up and you can see the ambience of a fine dining restaurant uh, this is Sikya Nairobi Kenya is this is the restaurant of fine dining style uh, here we can see at the back there is a wine cellar wine display is there and the uh, cover setup you can see next um, setup of casual restaurant so casual restaurant the casual restaurant also include Misa sign Misa plan activities uh, we will see the same Misa sign Misa plan activities there is no difference uh, the curtains the floor uh, casual restaurant uh, of a hotel doesn't mean that you will uh, um, uh, you will not pay attention to the qualities so quality you will um, uh, pay attention and everything attention to detail but the equipment which is uh, in casual restaurant uh, will not be as expensive as in fine dining restaurant so uh, the quality of equipments and quality of uh, and the difference of ambience will be there <clears throat> but there will be no difference in these standards for casual restaurant setup speed of service and ease of work is considered so casual restaurants we have to consider the speed of service because guests uh, usually in a hurry they don't come there to spend two three hours uh, so we uh, and there are so many uh, guests are coming uh, there is a, a higher footfall of the guest turnover is high so, so many guests coming many guests going so you need to think you need to keep everything ready enough in the stock there are not uh, tables are not laid with tablecloth instead table mat place mats are used so we don't use tablecloth in the um, casual restaurants because so many guests are coming they will spoil these tablecloths they will go for laundry and it will come back from laundry maybe one or two days and there will be additional cost of the laundry so we just skip the tablecloths and we may use the uh, placemate or table mat which we call it uh, so they can be used uh, they are made of uh, plastic which can be uh, you know easily washed and reused in casual restaurant food is the main concern rather than ambience and comfort so food is the main concern uh, point to consider for casual dining setup here check mizasa as per standard clean table and place the table mat on the table place abc in the center place cutlery bnb and uh, glasses on the table stock up dummy waiter so uh, we are going to do the same uh, same things but the equipment which we will place will be different so like in fine dining restaurant we were placing the table cloths and um, uh, we were placing the cover as per the standard and here we have the journal cover and there is no table cloth instead of table cloth there is placemats here we can see the um, view of a casual restaurant here nothing on the table uh, not even placemat there is only bnb plate in bnb plate you can see one spoon ap spoon and ap fork and a glass and that's it whenever guest order according to guest order we will provide the cutlery we will change the cutlery if has it has if the guest has ordered soup we will give the soup cutlery before the soup arrives on the table if he order anything else if he orders salad we will um, we will provide the knife uh, because spoon is already there so we do like this in the casual restaurant this is another picture of the casual restaurant uh, then third category setup of cocktail bar cocktail bar um, uh, here we can see bar setup includes general misa sa and misa plan activity so in bar also we will do the misa sa of course we will see the floor is clean the music is on light is on ac is on all these things we will check for the cocktail bar also um, instead of tables bar will have the sofa so uh, it will be a comfortable lower seating as compared to the dinner tables in the uh, restaurants and bar stools so there there might be a bar stools uh, along with the uh, bar counter which in uh, now coming days may not be possible because uh, uh, there uh, there will be um, 
uh, they will avoid the uh, close contact to the guests so we we might not have the bar stools but bar stool is generally available in the uh, bars tables are set up with ashtray um, light coasters tissue holders so in uh, bar table we will not place the cutlery because food is not the main thing why a guest is coming to the bar uh, the drinks are main thing why a guest is coming to the bar so we will uh, provide the maybe one candle on the table and ashtray if it is a smoking area uh, and some coasters and tissue uh, paper napkin is very essential uh, on side station we will stock up the equipments as per our need whatever it's in our menu for example small snacks is there so we will just make a small uh, uh, cutlery rolls for the guest and we will provide uh, napkins are not usually placed on the table so here we can see the bar setup uh, the bar uh, bar stools next to the bar counter and the sofa seating comfortable seating with the bar uh, uh, with the candles on the table and nothing else so we will just keep them uh, empty and as per the order we will provide the guest uh, whatever he requires so this is the back bar for your information back bar uh, we display here different type of alcohol bottles and this is the front bar uh, inside the bar counter mise plan includes so bar count inside bar counter also we do some mise plan like filling up the ice cubes for the operation for making drinks filling up crushed ice uh, crushed ice also we require if there is a ice machine in the bar then we don't need to fill up these ice but sometimes in some hotels the ice machine is separately placed somewhere for different outlets to use a big ice machine so you need to go and get these ice to your bar uh, same for the crushed ice crushed ice machine is also placed somewhere common for uh, be, uh, to be used by different outlets for example maybe in coffee shop or room service and bar may share one uh, uh one uh, ice machine making garnishes so garnishes are very important so we make it before we open the restaurant slices of lemon orange slices pineapple lemon wedges and other garnishes putting beverage for chilling we need to make sure that we chill the beverage before we open the bar so it is not that when guest comes that that time we are keeping the uh, beers into the uh, fridge or ice so we should have enough beers and wines and whatever beverage goes chilled arranging bar display um, uh, back bar which i discussed make sure all bar equipments are ready and uh, ensure glasses are clean and wiped for drink service now we see the layout of different outlets layout of coffee shop layout it is my um, I have made this layout because I could not find relevant layout anywhere in the books or uh, internet so that is why I have just made it myself. So this is the entrance here uh, from the entrance these are the tables and chairs the side stations over here this is the uh, wine bucket not wine bucket uh, wine chiller and this is the um, oval tray with the tray jack. and. This is the area uh, with the swing doors to go to the pantry. So there is a pantry and this is the uh, way to go to the kitchen. So here in the pantry we stock up the extra uh, equipments, extra equipments like your uh, disposable glasses, extra napkins or extra um, anything all these things which you cannot keep in the side station because side station has a limited space and the side station you will keep immediately required things for example guests need bnb plate at that time for the service and all these things all the extra things you will keep in the pantry and then there is a entrance to the kitchen next we can see the layout of the fine dining restaurant fine dining restaurant also we can see here the tables and chairs are arranged there is no difference uh, side stations are there but it has a pdr private dining room so uh, for a bigger family or uh, sometimes guest book for the PDR private dining room so it has some um, rules to book uh, so maybe you need to have if 
uh, it is a 12 packs PDR maybe you need to at least book for six people so below six people you cannot book PDR so it works like that but it gives a separate area for the guest and then we have the uh, here we can see the uh, dispense bar this is the thing which we did not have in coffee shop so coffee shop doesn't have dispense bar it may have uh, drinks coming from the still room or uh, from somewhere bigger setup so because coffee shop is very big restaurant so it requires a lot of drinks and a uh, lot of juices and everything so it is not inside the restaurant usually it is outside the restaurant in the back area but in fine dining restaurant we have it inside so the dispense barman is making the drinks and uh, serving to the guests so guests are not coming this is the difference between uh, cocktail bar and dispense bar that in cocktail bar guests are going directly to the bar counter maybe getting drinks but here all the things waiter will bring to the table whatever guest will order he will order on the table and waiter will bring these drinks to the table and then here is the pantry to go out a wine cellar wine cellar is another thing which we don't have usually in the coffee shop or casual dining restaurants so in fine dining restaurant we usually have a wine cellar uh, because guests are spending a lot of money and they are going for the experience they usually order wines and these wines are paired with the food so uh, they have a display of wine cellar which gives a good uh, uh, view of uh, uh, ambience also and uh, it adds uh, to the value of the restaurant we have the wine trolley here wine trolley uh, on the right below corner a wine trolley uh, with the wine and decanter and all these things so we can take this wine trolley to the guest table and we can do decanting of the wines and we can serve the wines to the guest i will discuss in next lectures um, how we have to how we can decant what is the use of decanting and what is the proper uh, style of decanting wine cocktail bar so cocktail bar is a full fledged bar where we making um, different type of cocktails all classic cocktails usually so guests are coming for the cocktail bar only for the drinks purpose the food is the secondary thing the drinks are the main thing um, so here we have the sofa seating arrangement inside and outside and uh, here we have cigar humidor normally the cocktail bar have cigar display cigar humidor cigar humidor is to keep the cigar it has uh, a certain degree of humidity inside it so which keeps the cigars fresh and side stations uh, so inside bar we have a speed rail where we keep all the immediately used drinks for making cocktails taps beer taps for draft beer and all and uh, that's it for the uh, today's lecture uh, if you have any concern any question you can write in the comment below and thank you so much